In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at copying and pasting um, multiple lyrics into a file, as well as um, doing multiple verses uh, typing in. I'm just showing you a little bit more in the editing realm here. Okay, when you open up a file, again, you're going to most likely see the conductor score. It helps if you know, it'll just keep things a little clearer if you know which of your staves has the melody line. So here it's conveniently labeled melody. How about that? And we also have a text file here that shows the lyrics for the particular song we're going to enter. So I'm going to toggle back and forth between these a little bit, so bear with me. Here comes the notation file. Okay, and here we have the, the notes that we want to do. All we have to do is to select, and again, this is where having the staff controls is very handy. Select the entire staff. Okay, and that prepares it. That means we're going to be pasting into this staff here. Now I'm going to click back into my text file here, and I'm going to select all of those lyrics, and you can either use whatever your text editor's um, copy command is, or you can use the keyboard shortcut Control C. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to use Control C to copy that text to the clipboard of my computer. I'm going to go back to my notation file. <coughs> and we have that here now. There's a special command for copying it or for pasting in um, lines of text like that. We go to Edit, Paste Special and then you will see that there's one for paste lyrics. The reason that this is so handy is because it pastes only the lyrics. It does not paste any notes over top of notes that you have there already. So we're going to paste the lyrics and ta-da! We have all those lyrics all in there. Now you'll notice that especially with songs like this where you've got a syllable that will range over a few different notes these won't be exactly lined up, but we'll take care of that in a minute. Right now, we're going to go back to our text file over here. We're going to select the next verse. Okay, and again, I'll use Control C to copy that to the clipboard. We're going to go back to the notation file. Now, this is still highlighted. You'll see the blue here. These lyrics are selected because it just tries to get you ready to do anything with them that you'll need to. We don't need to worry about that. We're going to go right back up here to Edit, Paste Special, go back to Paste Lyrics again, and now you'll see that that second verse is pasted in as a second verse, just below the first verse. Now you can keep doing that for as many uh, verses as you have, um, as you want to. And just for clarity's sake, we're not going to do that at this point, but you could do it up to, I don't know, however many verses your uh, computer will hold. There's no limit, in other words, to the number of verses that you can put in. Okay, now we need to do a little editing here, and I'm not going to edit the whole thing, but I am going to show you some tools that you can use for lining up your lyrics with the proper notes. Now we've got in a couple of verses here. You can do this independently of each other. So if I, we go, oh come, oh come, Emmanuel. Okay, Emmanuel needs to be split into uh, to separate syllables. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I, and this is just the way I, f I work. There are a number of different ways you can do it. So I'm, I'm not going to show you every way, but I think you can get the general idea here. O come, O come, Emmanuel. So L is going to need to be here, which means that all these lyrics here need to be shifted over to where and falls on this note. We're just going to go ahead. Oops, missed it there. <laughs> My bad. We're going to go ahead and shift all those lyrics to over here, and then we'll split up Emmanuel. Now, to shift them, we want to shift all the lyrics. We don't want to overwrite anything, so we're going to use this mass shift here. If we used this, then and would overwrite ransom. We don't want to do that. We want to shift them all. 
So we're shifting over, there we go, right there. So I'm going to click on that twice, and you'll notice that it opens up the editing box. Okay. So I can work on just that top line, even though both of them show. Okay. E. Me. Me. Now, you'll see that the, this is a little bit of an irritating thing, um, but it shifts down there because that's where the, the letters are. It ex, you know, composer and musician expect you to be working on that. What I'm doing right now is adding some things in the line above. So I have to click, I'm just clicking my up arrow key to get up to that part of the verses. Meh. Uh, I'm going to hit the space bar to move over to the next one. Uh, here. U. L. Okay. Now, you'll see I spaced through here. I entered lyrics here, and it didn't affect the ones that were below it. Okay. Very handy when you've got something that's already right and you don't want to mess with it, but you do need to edit a lyric above it or below it. <coughs> okay, now, let's say that I don't have the lyric for the next, the, the text lyrics for the next verse, and I'm going to have to add them in. Okay, I can click and get into that edit box, and if, the, if it's up there, all I have to do is hit the enter key, to go to the next line, okay, and I can say, oh, and then I just, and then, now all I have to do is type, just like I'm doing the basic lyric entry, oh, oops, and I did it down too far, didn't I, because I hit the thing, my bad again, oh, come, Um, what's happened here? I had an extra carriage return at the end, so it's added. It's already added in a space line for me. Day, okay. Whoop. You guys are getting the rough and ready version here. Spring, okay. So you can, you know, if you want to enter an, another verse, you just again you go here, hit your enter key to take you down. And you're good to go on that next line. And it'll, and as you hit spacebar, it'll just keep entering the line below there. Okay. That is your basic uh, copy and paste into lyrics. Again, you can use the tools here to move them around. If you need to shift things to make space. This is the end of this tutorial.